Welcome back. Now, the Nigeria stock market again closed in the reds, today declining by zero. 0.88%. Now, yesterday, the stock market declined by 1.49%, and that is two straight days in the red. Now, the OSHA index can be seen at 34,101.2 basis points. Now, if you must know, the OSHA index has fallen by 11.3% since the start of trading in the stock exchange this year, that is from 2018 to this current date now, and um, today's market capitalization is at 12.452 trillion naira. Let's take a look at the top gainers for today. Now, Dangote is making um, its way back to the top gainers chart after closing on the losers chart yesterday. Now, this means that investors are investing or are buying more of Dangote's shares than the number of those who are selling because it's, it's, I think yesterday more investors sold their Dangote shares, which landed them on the losers chart, but today more investors are buying the shares of the multi-billion dollar cement company. And also on the top gainers chart, we have Fitzen. Now, this is Fitzen's forced entrance on the gainers table this week. And this follows analyst advice to investors that they should purchase Fitzen shares. Now, you may wonder why this is so. Analyst investors Analysts actually told investors to purchase Fitzen shares because the company recently, you know, declared that they made over 11 um, percent increase in revenue this year, like so far this year. And analysts have told investors that if you want to make quick cash in the stock market, purchase the shares of Fitzen. And it seems that investors actually heed to analyst advice as Fitzen is on the top gainers chart, making with their shares closing at six naira for today, up by 9.09% um, from their former close of 5.5%. Let's take a look at the loser's table right now. We can see that Guinness is on the loser's table. Now, investors are quickly selling off their shares of Guinness. Now, you might wonder why, and this is because Guinness also announced that they made over 200% increase of profit after tax. Now, you know, the stock is a business of buy and sell just to make gains. So investors who bought Guinness when they were quite cheaper, who bought Guinness shares when it was quite cheaper, is selling off right now to make maximum gains before, you know, the shares will fall back. And that is why Guinness has landed on the loser's chart today. And Stambik IBTC is making the loser's chart for a second day in a row. Now, some people may have thought that the CBN sanction wasn't a affecting Stambik, but it actually was affecting Stambik. And this is because um, investors with Stambik shares are fast selling off their shares in case, you know, just to cut their losses right now. So they have been on the losers chart and this is their second day and they have been making the top traders chart for the four past days now. And some people might say, oh, you're making the top traders chart, so you're making money. But you're making the top traders chart actually means that your shares are being sold and bought. So apparently they were making the chart because investors were actually selling off their shares of Stambik. And uh, more investors are not actually buying at this moment, which is why they are on the losers chart. Now let's take at today's, let's take a look at today's top traders. We have Guarantee, UBA, Skybank, and Jai's Bank. Now it is again dominated by the banking sector, just as it was dominated by the banking sector yesterday. And UBA is making the top traders chart for the third consecutive day. Now, it is not on the losers chart, neither is it on the gainers chart, but I think it's like lukewarm right now because the, the ratio of investors buying and selling UBA shares is quite balanced. But um, I can't say the same for guarantee because it's actually closed on the losers chart as we saw. It was on the losers chart today and um, it's on the top traders chart, meaning that more investors are selling off their guarantee um, shares than the number of those who are buying. Now let's take a look at today's summary. Over 200 million shares were traded today and they're worth 2.162 billion naira and a total of 3,224 deals. But it wasn't just the Niger stock market that closed in the reds today because the global stock market actually closed in the reds today. As you can see, FTSE is 0.87% down. Dow Jones is 0.049% down and Neki is 0.41% in the reds. And um, they have been like this for a while. In fact, Dow Jones and Nikki have been down for five straight days and FTSE is making its third day in the red. So it's not just an Irish stock market that is in the red. Now, if you must know, a recent report from a stock market monitor says that an Irish stock exchange is actually the 
um, stock market with the worst performance in Africa. And this wasn't the case last year, because last year the, the NSE finished as the best performing stock market in Africa and the third in the world. But that is not the case for the NSC right now, comparing to the activities that has been going on in the NSC from the start of this year to this very present time. Now, that's been a look at activities on the stock market.